You mean this is all your room? What a stupid things to do. Hold on, she did not do it on purpose. In the pantheon of American comedy, few stars burn as brightly or as tumultuously as Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby. On the surface, their careers appeared to be a study in contrasts. Pryor, with his raw, unfiltered exploration of race and society, and Cosby, the quintessential family man, weaving tales of everyday life with a wholesome veneer. Yet beneath the laughter and acclaim, a complex and controversial dynamic simmered, one that many fans and even contemporaries were largely unaware of. The tension between Pryor and Cosby was not just a clash of comedic styles, but a reflection of deeper, more personal disputes that touched on issues of race, morality, and the very essence of comedy itself. Let us explore the unseen battle between Pryor and Cosby, shedding light on the controversial aspects of their relationship and careers. It's a journey through the heights of comedic genius and the depths of personal turmoil, a story that asks us to reconsider what we know about these two legends and the price they paid for their place in entertainment history. Richard Pryor's ascent to the zenith of comedy was as meteoric as it was fraught with controversy. Born into a world far removed from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Pryor's early life in Peoria, Illinois, was steeped in adversity. Raised in a brothel run by his grandmother, Pryor's formative years were a tapestry of harrowing experiences, from witnessing the raw realities of the S-Trade to enduring abuse and racial discrimination. Yet, it was within this crucible of hardship that Pryor's comedic genius was forged, his pain becoming the source of his unparalleled insight into the human condition. Pryor's comedy was revolutionary, not just for its unapologetic honesty, but for its raw portrayal of life as a black man in America. He turned the spotlight on issues that many preferred to keep in the shadows, discussing race, poverty, and injustice with a candor that was as unsettling as it was enlightening. Pryor's performances were a tightrope walk between humor and tragedy, a reflection of his own tumultuous life. His comedy was a form of rebellion, challenging audiences to confront uncomfortable truths while simultaneously offering a cathartic release. However, Pryor's path was marred by controversy, not just in the themes he explored but in his personal life. His struggles with addiction and his volatile relationships were well documented, often overshadowing his professional achievements. Pryor's life was a public spectacle, a series of highs and lows that were as dramatic as any performance he gave on stage. His infamous incident of setting himself on fire after freebasing cocaine was a stark manifestation of his inner turmoil, a moment that Pryor would later incorporate into his act, turning a near-fatal tragedy into a poignant, if painful, piece of comedy. Pryor's influence on comedy cannot be overstated. He broke barriers, both social and artistic, pushing the boundaries of what comedy could be. His willingness to expose his vulnerabilities, to make light of his darkest moments, endeared him to audiences and inspired a generation of comedians. Yet, his legacy is a complex one, marked by brilliance and self-destruction in equal measure. The controversy surrounding Pryor's life and career is emblematic of the struggles faced by many artists. The battle between creativity and chaos, the public's insatiable appetite for the spectacle of celebrity downfall, and the fine line between genius and madness. Pryor's story is a cautionary tale of the toll that fame can take on an individual, but it is also a testament to the transformative power of comedy, the ability to find laughter in the face of adversity, and the enduring impact of speaking one's truth, no matter how controversial. Bill Cosby's narrative is one of profound contrast, embodying the quintessential American dream while harboring a dark reality that would ultimately lead to his dramatic fall from grace. Known as America's Dad, Cosby's portrayal of Dr. Cliff Huxtable on The Cosby Show set the standard for paternal figures on television, offering an idealized vision of family life that resonated with millions. His comedy, rooted in everyday experiences and family dynamics, was universally appealing, transcending racial and social divides. 
Cosby's influence extended beyond entertainment. He was a cultural icon, a role model, and a seemingly moral compass for the nation. However, the controversy that would envelop Cosby's legacy was as shocking as it was disillusioning. Allegations of S assault, drugging, and R began to surface, painting a starkly different picture of the man who had been revered by audiences worldwide. The accusations spanned decades, with numerous women coming forward to share their stories, casting a shadow over Cosby's career and the wholesome image he had cultivated. The legal battles and public scrutiny that followed were a stark departure from his previously untouchable status in the entertainment industry and society at large. Cosby's fall from grace was not just a personal tragedy, but a cultural reckoning. It forced a re-evaluation of the way society idolizes public figures, questioning the extent to which talent and fame can, or should, shield individuals from accountability. Cosby's case became a focal point in the broader conversation about S-assault and the power dynamics that enable it, contributing to the momentum of the Me Too movement. His eventual conviction served as a watershed moment, signaling a shift in societal norms and the willingness to hold powerful men accountable for their actions. The controversy surrounding Cosby is a reflection of the complexities of human character and the dichotomy between public persona and private behavior. It challenges audiences to grapple with the discomfort of reconciling the beloved characters and comedians they admire with the flawed individuals behind them. Cosby's story is a cautionary tale about the dangers of placing individuals on pedestals, reminding us that heroes are often fallible and that the truth can be uncomfortable and inconvenient. The careers of Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby, while markedly different in style and substance, intersected in ways that highlighted not only their individual brilliance, but also the underlying tensions that define their relationship. Both men were pioneers in the world of comedy, breaking racial barriers, and setting new standards for what was possible for black entertainers in America. However, the paths they carved through the entertainment landscape were as divergent as their approaches to comedy and life, leading to a complex dynamic filled with respect, rivalry, and controversy. Pryor and Cosby's interactions were marked by a mutual recognition of each other's talent, but also by a palpable tension rooted in their contrasting philosophies. Pryor, with his unfiltered, raw humor, delved into the depths of racial inequality, addiction, and personal demons, using comedy as a tool for social commentary and self-exploration. Cosby, on the other hand, opted for a more universal, family-oriented approach, eschewing profanity and controversial topics in favor of relatable humor that endeared him to a broad audience. This fundamental difference in approach led to a rift between the two with Pryor often criticizing Cosby for his perceived detachment from the realities faced by the black community and Cosby reproaching Pryor for his explicit content and lifestyle. The controversy between Pryor and Cosby was emblematic of a larger debate within the black community and the entertainment industry about the role of comedians and artists in addressing social issues. Pryor accused Cosby of sanitizing the black experience for mainstream acceptance, while Cosby lamented Pryor's use of comedy to air dirty laundry, fearing it reinforced negative stereotypes. This debate was not just about comedic style, but about the responsibility of black entertainers in a racially divided America. Despite their differences, the tension between Pryor and Cosby was also a source of creative friction that pushed both men to excel. Pryor's willingness to confront uncomfortable truths inspired a generation of comedians to tackle taboo subjects, while Cosby's success in mainstream entertainment paved the way for black actors and comedians to achieve unprecedented levels of fame and influence. However, the controversies that would later engulf Cosby's legacy cast a shadow over his earlier achievements complicating the narrative of his relationship with Pryor. The relationship between Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby, 
while not overtly antagonistic in public forums, simmered with a silent feud that resonated deeply within the corridors of the entertainment industry. At the heart of their silent feud was a fundamental disagreement over the portrayal of African-American life and the role of comedians in society. Pryor's groundbreaking approach to comedy, characterized by its raw honesty and unapologetic exploration of race, addiction, and personal demons, stood in stark contrast to Cosby's more sanitized, family-friendly narrative. Pryor saw himself as a truth-teller, using humor as a weapon against the injustices and absurdities of life. Cosby, conversely, aimed to uplift and unify, focusing on the universal aspects of the human experience. This philosophical divide fueled a tension that was as much about personal identity as it was about artistic expression. The controversy extended beyond their professional lives, touching on personal conduct and moral standing. Pryor's tumultuous life, marked by drug abuse and legal troubles, was often cited by Cosby as antithetical to the positive image he believed African-American entertainers should project. Cosby's later fall from grace, due to numerous allegations of S. misconduct, cast a retroactive shadow over these criticisms, highlighting a profound hypocrisy and complicating the narrative of their feud. The silent feud between Pryor and Cosby was reflective of a larger conversation within the African-American community and the entertainment industry about respectability, politics, authenticity, and the burden of representation. Pryor's willingness to confront the darker aspects of life and society without concern for mainstream acceptance challenged Cosby's more conservative, assimilationist approach. This clash of ideologies was not just personal, but emblematic of the broader struggles facing African-American artists, navigating a predominantly white entertainment landscape. Despite the undercurrents of rivalry and disagreement, the silent feud between Pryor and Cosby also underscored a mutual respect for each other's talent and achievements. Both men were acutely aware of the barriers they had broken and the doors they had opened for future generations of comedians and entertainers. However, the controversies that enveloped both men's lives, Pryor's battles with addiction and Cosby's legal issues, have left a complex legacy that continues to provoke debate and reflection. The silent feud between Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby did more than highlight the personal and professional differences between two of comedy's greatest figures. It underscored a broader cultural divide within American society and the African-American community. Pryor's comedy, with its unflinching honesty and raw portrayal of life's harsh realities, resonated with audiences who saw in his humor a reflection of their own experiences and struggles. His ability to speak truth to power, to lay bare the injustices and absurdities of a racially divided America, made him not just a comedian, but a cultural icon. Pryor's willingness to confront uncomfortable truths about race, poverty, and inequality challenged the status quo, pushing the boundaries of what was considered acceptable in mainstream entertainment. Conversely, Cosby's approach to comedy characterized by its focus on family, education, and universal human experiences, appealed to a broader audience, including many who preferred a more sanitized portrayal of African-American life. Cosby's success on television, particularly with The Cosby Show, was seen as a groundbreaking achievement that challenged stereotypes and offered a positive image of African-American families. However, this portrayal was not without controversy, as some critics argued that it glossed over the systemic issues facing many African-American communities, presenting an idealized version of reality that was out of reach for many. The cultural divide between Pryor and Cosby's comedic philosophies mirrored the ongoing debate within the African-American community about the best path forward in the fight for equality and representation. Pryor's raw, confrontational style was seen by some as perpetuating negative stereotypes, while Cosby's more conservative, assimilationist approach was criticized for failing to address the systemic roots of racial inequality. This debate extended beyond the realm of comedy, 
reflecting broader societal tensions around race, class, and the power of media to shape perceptions and narratives. The contrasting legacies of Pryor and Cosby highlight the complexities of navigating identity and representation in a society marked by deep-seated divisions and inequalities. The legacies of Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby are monumental, casting long shadows and bright lights across the landscape of comedy and beyond. Their influence on the genre and on the cultural discourse around race, identity, and morality in America is profound, yet deeply complicated by the controversies that have surrounded them. Pryor's legacy is that of a trailblazer who transformed comedy into a raw, powerful medium for discussing race, class, and the human condition. His fearless approach to comedy, willingness to expose his deepest vulnerabilities, and unparalleled ability to connect with audiences of all backgrounds have cemented his status as one of the greatest comedians of all time. However, Pryor's legacy is also marked by his struggles with addiction, turbulent personal life, and the self-destructive behaviors that often overshadowed his career. These aspects of his life story contribute to a complex legacy, one that embodies the full spectrum of human frailty and resilience. Bill Cosby's influence on comedy and American culture was, for decades, equally undeniable. He broke racial barriers in television, provided a model for positive representation of African-American families, and influenced countless comedians with his unique style of humor. Yet the revelations of his criminal behavior and the subsequent legal battles have irrevocably tarnished his legacy. Cosby's fall from grace has prompted a re-evaluation of his work and its impact, raising difficult questions about the separation of art from the artist and the extent to which personal morality should influence public legacy. The controversies surrounding Pryor and Cosby also reflect broader societal debates about accountability, redemption, and the role of celebrities in shaping cultural norms. Their stories are cautionary tales about the pitfalls of fame, the dangers of unchecked power, and the human capacity for both creativity and destructiveness. As society grapples with these issues, the legacies of Pryor and Cosby serve as focal points for discussions about the complexities of hero worship, the potential for change, and the enduring impact of their contributions to comedy and culture. In the aftermath of the controversies surrounding Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby, the comedy world and society at large have been forced into a period of reckoning and reflection. The Me Too movement has been a significant catalyst for re-evaluating Cosby's legacy, transforming him from a beloved cultural icon into a symbol of the systemic abuse of power. The public's response to the allegations against Cosby and his subsequent conviction has sparked a broader conversation about consent, accountability, and the ways in which society has historically ignored or dismissed the experiences of survivors of S assault. This shift in narrative has led to a critical reassessment of Cosby's work, challenging fans and critics alike to grapple with the dissonance between the man's public persona and his private actions. Conversely, Pryor's legacy, while complicated by his personal demons and self-destructive behavior, has been somewhat recontextualized in light of contemporary understandings of addiction, mental health, and trauma. Pryor's openness about his struggles, once seen as controversial or even self-indulgent, is now often viewed through a more empathetic lens. His willingness to confront painful truths about himself and society has garnered renewed appreciation, highlighting the enduring relevance of his work in conversations about healing, resilience, and the power of authenticity. The evolving narratives of Pryor and Cosby reflect a broader cultural shift towards a more nuanced understanding of the complexities of human behavior and the impact of societal structures on individual actions. This re-evaluation is not without its tensions, as it challenges fans, critics, and cultural historians to balance admiration for artistic genius with a critical awareness of the flawed individuals behind the art. The process of reckoning with the legacies of Pryor and Cosby 
underscores the importance of ongoing dialogue and reflection in navigating the intersections of art, morality, and social justice. As we conclude our exploration into the lives, careers, and controversies of Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby, we are left to ponder the delicate balance between genius and fallibility. Their stories encapsulate the dichotomy of immense talent shadowed by personal turmoil, offering a complex narrative that challenges our perceptions of heroism, morality, and legacy. The controversies surrounding Pryor and Cosby have ignited a necessary conversation about the intersection of art and artist, prompting us to question whether it is possible, or even desirable, to separate the two. Pryor's groundbreaking comedy, born out of a life marked by pain and struggle, pushed societal boundaries, forcing audiences to confront uncomfortable truths. Meanwhile, Cosby's fall from grace revealed a disturbing disconnect between the public persona of moral authority and the private actions of a man now synonymous with betrayal and hypocrisy. These revelations have not only tarnished his legacy, but have also served as a catalyst for societal change, highlighting the importance of accountability and the courage of survivors who speak out. The legacies of Pryor and Cosby, intertwined with controversy, compel us to reevaluate our cultural icons, examining the shades of gray that define human existence. Their stories remind us that greatness can coexist with deep flaws, and that acknowledging these complexities does not diminish their contributions, but rather enriches our understanding of their impact. In navigating the legacy of these comedy giants, we are encouraged to embrace a more nuanced perspective, recognizing the capacity for both creativity and destructiveness within each individual. As we reflect on the lives of Pryor and Cosby, we are reminded of the power of comedy to heal, to harm, and to provoke thought, serving as a mirror to the best and worst of human nature. Their enduring influence, marked by both innovation and controversy, offers a profound lesson in the complexities of legacy, inviting us to consider the multifaceted narratives that shape our cultural landscape and our collective memory. That's it for this video. See you next time.